Greetings, Keisha Lanes. Keisha Prime here with my live reaction of One Piece, Chapter 1001, Pirate Knights. <laughs> or is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Arabian Nights. I kept thinking of Arabian Tales for some reason earlier, but whatever. Anyway, the joke still kind of stands. Um, actually, that would be interesting if, like, after the uh, end of One Piece and whatnot, because, you know, we probably got like a couple hundred chapters more. If Oda wants to, like, do, like, a, have, like, hire somebody else and, like, do, like, little condensed, like, pirate tales stories in, like, a, a single book. You know, like, condensing, like, backstories, story arcs, all that kind of stuff, or various, like, little supplementary tales that, you know, he comes up with to try and add up as close to a thousand and one. That would be an awesome idea. <laughs> I, I'd try and get it. Once it's translated, of course. Because, anyway, I mean, it'd still be awesome in Japanese, I guess, but I wouldn't be able to read it. Anyway, uh, let's see here. The title is The Decisive Battle of Monsters on Onigashima. And we've got Jimbe on Giant <laughs> Jellyfish. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Jimbe gracefully resting on a bed of jellyfish. Yeah, it, it's quite the bed, actually. Like, that's about the best kind of waterbed you could get, I guess. Um, anyway, let's see here. <clears throat> the voice of an emperor resa er, resounds from the roof. Yes, because uh, Luffy finally got a move that works. Like, he fused his Ryuo armament hockey into his fist upgraded third gear to now include fire and whatnot so it's like uh red rock was pretty good it it took the piss out of kaido so be it you know it's just one hit it's a blunt attack you know but hey luffy has something that can go against an emperor so that's more than most pirates can say. Uh, but anyway, let's see here. You shitty brat, even after getting your ass beat, you're still saying that. Becoming the Pirate King. And Luffy's just like, hmm, that attack damaged me. Is that the hockey you learned from the old man in Wano? What was that hockey just now? So none of them have a clue. Like, Zoro kind of knows, but, like, he doesn't fully understand it. He's probably going to want to learn that now. Like, imagine him doing a flying slash with Ryuo hockey <laughs> thrown into the mix. Oh! <laughs> that would hurt. And, uh, we got Kid who doesn't have a clue what the hell's going on. He He's like, is that hockey? I can't believe a punch actually damaged Kaido. And here's Killer just laughing his ass off. Fa, fa, fa. This battle is not lost after all. And there's Law. I'm not going to let it slide this time. And there's Big Mom yelling. Does a brat like you even understand what it means to be a be the Pirate King? It means to be the freest man on these many seas. You know. Four seas, I guess, technically. But, uh, you know. I, I kind of went into, like, full-on... Like, if it was the real world equivalent, there'd be more than that. Um, but yeah, let's see here. And now Kaido's just kind of like, hmm, what happened after I crushed him and Curry? There are only a handful of people that can fight me. Oh, and he's thinking, oh, there's rocks, there's uh, Roger, there's Whitebeard, and there's Odin. They're like, oh, and even Shanks. I didn't see Shanks there. Holy shit, Shanks. <laughs> so that kind of proves that um, back during the, the, um, crap, Marinfort, Marinfort? No. What? Yeah. Uh, back in Marinfort, or Marineford, that's it. That, why did I get messed up? Uh, Marinfort, Marineford. Why do I keep... Screwing it up. Anyway, Marine Ford, that when he said like that he had stopped Kaido, I guess that's why. Because he's one of the few people in history that have ever been able to do anything against him. So they actually might have had quite the fight. Now there's a tale for your book, Kaido. Kaido? Oda. 
God, my names are all messed up this morning. Oh, Lord. Are you implying that you are just as great as they are? Straw hat. Oh, he, he's smirking. Oh, he about to do one of his uh, thunder bagaras, ain't he? Because um, he's saying thunder. And here comes the club and Luffy's ready for it. Bagara! He dodged it this time. I love that this almost looks exactly or very similar to how it was when he got hit with it the first time. But he actually dodged it this time. So his observation has apparently gone up as well. Um... Well, no, wait, he's still got hit. Shit. Because he's bleeding in the forehead. Damn it. I, I thought he at least dodged it, but maybe he only got grazed, so maybe it's not too bad. But, uh, so he's spinning out of control now. Damn it, even though I saw the future, he's too fast. This is good. You're putting up a decent fight this time around. Oh, happy Kaido is creepy ass Kaido. Um... And here comes Big Mom. It's like, yes, Straw Hat, let me in on this. You bastard, you ruined my country. Anyway, Heavenly. So I assume this is something to do with uh, Zeus, but Prometheus is there. I don't see Zeus anywhere. Oh, Zoro's coming in. Shing! Foxfire stop. He can do fucking Foxfire stop. Oh, shit. Kinemon, you have bestowed Zoro with a great gift. He's going to cut the shit out of Prometheus. So that'll be two freaking um, members of the Straw Hats that have horribly damaged her um, her main homies. Fire, flame, slice. And there goes Prometheus. He's like, ah, what the fuck? And then the other half is like, hey... Bro, <laughs> I'm not your damn brother. We're twins now, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so I was like, gah! Just screaming in pain. Oh, th that's Kinemon's attack. <laughs> it's mine now. <laughs> it's not even like, yeah, Kinemon showed me. Ain't it great? And it's like, no, it's like, I stole that shit. I'm a pirate. <laughs> How does it go? Like, yo ho, yo ho, you are a pirate. But anyway, Prometheus. Ow, 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 ow. It's okay. I think he's trying to go away and like reform. I'm not sure. If Kaido feeds him some more flames, like dang, that, that probably would heal him. Uh, let's see here. Luffy, don't get your guard down even for a sec. Or don't let your guard down even for a second. Don't forget, we're up against two emperors. What? As Kaido's coming in for another swing. But then Law comes and backs up. Shambles. So he, he got Luffy out of there. Whoa. Trial guy? Hey, Straw Hat. Uh, just so you know, I had already planned on moving Kenimon and the others downstairs. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, Law, you you wonderful guy. He, he was already planning on doing that. That's good. I didn't need a fucking order. That's probably what he was referring to. I'm not letting this go. <laughs> uh, but you went and said that. Trial guide, send all of the, so, uh, send all of them below. Now it looks like I obeyed your orders. <laughs> He's Motherfucker, I ain't your subordinate. Does this look like a straw hat to you? No, this is a fluffy motherfucking hat. <laughs> um... What does that even matter? Trafalgar. And uh, and here I thought you finally became Straw Hat's lackey. Oh, kid, you son of a bitch. You just had... He's like a kid who's like, Ooh, fire, let me get the gasoline. <laughs> um, as if. Doesn't even uh, matter to me whether one scrub joins another, though. Oh, really? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Prometheus, burn them all, descenders. Yes, mama. And, oh shit, he's shooting fireballs. He's like, poo 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 poo. <laughs> Heavenly fireballs. I would call them something cooler than that. How about. Uh, uh, hmm. I don't know. But something other than just fireballs. Maybe it'll be cooler than the official. I don't know. Uh. Okay, 
How about the first person who uh, flings, or the person who flinches is the scrub? Okay, this is just like when they were in the freaking, um, the uh, Saba Odi uh, archipelago. When they were facing down all the marines and stuff. Love it. I love this callback. Like hell, I'd agree to that, you idiot. <laughs> As the three fireballs are now coming for them, and they're just arguing. I, I love it. They they really weren't like that the first time, so this shows how much they've changed, and I appreciate that. Suggesting a pointless game at a time like this is exactly why you fools will never become big shots. Uh, fair enough. Guess you two are the scrubs, then. What? What is loot? Oh shit, is he about to like take that fireball and add it to one of his attacks? If he does that, that'd be awesome. What is with these face? Oh shit, they all took it. Why the faces, Oda? Why the faces? But anyway, so they all took it, I guess, head on. And Zoro's over there like, what the hell are you guys doing? Because they're all screaming in the back. <laughs> it's like, Luffy, for God's sakes, I know you have observation. But they didn't want to yield and say, ha ha, I dodged. Ha ha, you lost, motherfucker. Um, let's see here. Stand back, Lin Lin. I want to see how strong these brats are. Playing with your food again, huh? Okay. <laughs> um... Try not to get in my way. Uh, Kamazo the man uh, slayer. Oh, he's still calling him that instead of killer. Uh, there aren't many people with such a weird laugh. Fa fa fa. Oh, that's how he knew. Oh. So Zoro isn't a total idiot. <laughs> really just, he has no sense of direction, which is still baffling at times, but whatever. If I'd been using my punishers back then... Oh, that's what his weapons are called? I didn't, I don't remember that ever being a thing. You'd have been dead meat, uh, Zoro Joro. It'd have, uh, ended the same regardless. Three sword style. Rin Goku. Onigure! Oh shit, they just slashed the shit out of Kaido, but did it do anything? Decapitation Claw. Ugh. Oh, he, he's laughing at him. I don't think it did much. Whoa, roll, roll, as expected. I need to release more of Enma's power. No, you need to learn fucking real well if you want that sword to be of any use in this fight, Zoro. I mean, it's still awesome that you, that both the two lieutenant, first mate, second in commands of your respective crews decide to take on a Yonko together. That's awesome. Not going to take that away from you, but it's like... You do know why, you obviously know that Luffy trained a specific form of hockey to be able to do anything against Kaido, right? Why did you think you could do anything right now yourself? Um, which, this is probably for the best, because if he did somehow, like, huh, I'll try that real world stuff, too. And it's like, no. If he does that, he's already gotten one new attack. He don't need that immediately. But, uh, let's see here. You bastard. I'll settle this fight in an instant. Cough. Wait. Is Kaido actually like... How much damage did you do to him, Luffy? Because if he's coughing, that means he has like some internal bleeding or something going on, right? Let's see. Punk Rotten. Gear forth. Oh shit, is he about to... Go... Surely not. It was just last chapter that he did Red Rock. But I guess he could just combine real woe with, like, regular attacks, right? Um, let's see here. Fourth gear. Room. Bring it on. And, oh. Oh, punk rotten. We get to see it. It's like a giant heavy metal skull punk. Skull punk? Yeah, punk rock. Um style mascot is what it looks like it's just a giant robot frankie be like that's super 
But yeah, like, freaking Law's just over there like, I am sitting on a rock. Luffy's up in the air. And then you've got, obviously, Kid coming in from the back. I just hit the mic. Um, whoa, ro, 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 ro. These brats are like little monsters. I know full well how tough your skin is. But I wonder if you can endure being crushed to death. Gomu gomu no? I'll destroy you from within. My surgery will grant you a swift death. And Kaido just smiling and it's like, ha <laughs> love it if you could, boy. King Kong, or no, it's not King Kong, it's just Kong Gun. Okay, never mind. I, I, I swear, the fact that it's known as like King Kong and stuff in like popular culture because of the movies and stuff, it's like, that's where my mind always goes. But uh, then Punk Vice, oh, so he actually has other moves. So he, okay, it's a branching move. So he is just controlling this thing. It isn't like a single attack. That's cool. That's awesome. Vice is where he just kind of punches you from both. And he just crunches you between his fists. That's a ugh. Oh, they're actually doing some damage to him, it seems like. I think with Luffy, like, you know, he's using real woe hockey probably in, you know, in Gear 4. Like, he's setting up, you know, like a pathway for the others to do damage, essentially. Because, you know, like, he's doing that... So now he's got, like, maybe some internal damage. And then, you know, with the external damage that, like, Kid's doing, and likely Law will be helping, too. We just haven't gotten to see it yet. It's like he's, like, crunching up all of, you know, the parts that have been damaged already. So that's why he's getting hurt. Tacked. And he just got half a mountain dropped on him. Uh, ma, 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 ma. Ha, 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 ha. Ma 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 ma. <laughs> uh oh, she's up in the sky. She's got, she's riding on Zeus, and she's got Napoleon. And oh shit! Whoa, ro ro ro! From the dust comes Dragon Kaido. Also, um, I did a theory video about like some inspirations and origins of why Kaido is the kind of devil fruit that he likely is, and everything. So uh, give that a watch. Um, let's see here. Whoa, 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 it's such a shame to have to kill you all, but I can't, it can't be helped. Once you're dead, we'll take everything you have. Your friends, your treasure, all of it will be ours. You guys have poneglyphs too, don't you? No. But they have etchings. Maybe that's what she's referring to. I can't wait to get my hands on them. Oh, oh, we're actually getting to see, like, uh, punk rotten from a different angle here. Um, I thought it was like a full-on attached robot, but no, like the limbs, or at least if it even has legs, I can't really tell. Um, like where the hell is he getting all this metal from, to be honest? That, that, that's a question for you. Um, but anyway, it's like the arms are floating in the air, which makes sense. He has magnetic power, so yeah. But anyway, so the, this is a cool panel, though. I, I like this panel. The victor of the battle will take a massive step towards becoming the Pirate King. And that just pissed off Luffy. An inevitable clash. And it's going on break next week. Why does that not surprise me? Okay, this was a nice chapter. To be honest, this might have been better than chapter one. Then chapter 1000, sorry about that, I got, but, but, um, because we're getting to see more action, like, the biggest bit of action, you know, there was, like, some fight bits, obviously, in the last chapter, but this one was a collaborative effort between three supernovas against two Yonkos. If it was against one Yonko, it still would have been awesome, but against two... I mean, technically, there's Killer and Zoro, so it's like, it's five. But still, five against two, given, you know, who they're fighting against, is still, still awesome. I love that uh, Zoro now has a new move that he learned from Kenimon, or just stole it. Um, I don't think Kenimon would care, because he's like, You are a worthy swordsman. You, you wield my lord's sword, and now... You wield my move. 
It is a great honor, Zoro Joro. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, that's awesome. So he was able to damage uh, Prometheus and be like the second straw had to ever do any damage to the homies. Uh, Brooke being the first, obviously. Um, actually, has anybody else done it? I'm just being an idiot. But those are like the two main ones where they've actually been cut in half. Like Zeus and Prometheus. Um, so yeah. I'm waiting for when freaking Napoleon gets cut in half. <laughs> Can he heal? I mean, he's a hat. Um, <clears throat> would he have to be like taken to a tailor? That'd be interesting. But um, so yeah, that... That was awesome. Uh, he protected his captain. Him and Killer actually tried to attack Kaido after, you know, some of the earlier attacks. Didn't quite pan out as well, but hey, I mean, like I said, I think uh, Luffy is kind of opening the door for the other two because, like, they don't have real world hockey yet. So, <clears throat> a real world armament hockey. But it's still probably, like, if he's doing some damage and then they can do, like, external, you know, like, just manipulating his body to, you know, agitate those wounds at any capacity is probably good enough. I mean, that man's probably horribly internally bleeding right now. And, uh, yeah, Big Mom ain't done hardly nothing other than shoot some fireballs at them, <laughs> which is, uh, maybe next chapter she'll, uh, get more like fight screen time i'm thinking because this was more kaido definitely maybe big mom will be able to do a bit more maybe that maybe zoro could really just keep fighting prometheus and maybe um killer could you know assist with that and they just, maybe he could take on napoleon yeah there we go i mean i don't think he could probably cut zeus so that would be out of the question but if he can take out napoleon and uh Prometheus is occupied with uh, Zoro. I think that could be going on while their captains are fighting uh, uh, Kaido. Would be a good uh, natural progression for this fight. Keep things going. You know, switch from which fight we're d focusing on. Be great. Um, as for... Um, <clears throat> well, really, the fact that this was all just basically fight... Some good lines, like the whole thing of like, he's a guy who can actually like injure me. That that's very few in number, and he's thinking of five people: um, White Beard, uh, Rocks, uh, Gold Roger. Um, let's see, who else was it? Uh, shit, I can't think of freaking five people. But it was like, you had Shanks. You had Whitebeard, not even Big Mom's on that list, so that that's miraculous in itself. But, um, well, actually, let's go back. Let's see here. Um, yeah, let's see here. Rocks, you got Roger, you got Whitebeard. Oh, Odin. Why did I forget Odin? Damn. And then Shanks. So, yeah, that was, that's awesome. Um, like... The, the, the Shanks inclusion is an interesting one, but it's one that he was actually the first one that we technically were hinted at that he could do something to Kaido because he stopped him from entering Marinford. I got it right, finally. Um, so, yeah, with with all that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, but I'm kind of wondering, does he have real well hockey that he, like, maybe fuses with Griffin? That could be cool. Um, but yeah, like now Luffy has been added to that list, that short exclusive VIP list of the people who can fuck up Kaido. Um, but yeah, so this, this was really a good fight. Some of the, the banter amongst them, like the, the, like whoever dodges, you know, is a weakling kind of deal. I like that. They, and, I mean, seemingly they didn't take any damage whatsoever from those fireballs, so that just shows how much they have, you know, developed. Because, like, just about anybody else would have been burnt to a crisp or at least shown some physical damage. But no, they seem to take that, like champs, regardless of the horrible faces they were making. 
Um, maybe they used like armament hockey or something to kind of lessen the physical damage or something. I don't know, but regardless. So, and then the the whole thing was like Zoro. It was like um, even like he knew who Killer was. Like he knew him as a uh, Kamazo and everything. But like because of laughing, he knew. So that that was cute. And then it was like. Then Killer comes back with, like, if I had my Punishers, I would have won that fight. So, they have their banter, too. I like it. Um, uh, Law, like, berating Luffy for, like, I was already planning to get them out of harm's way, you son of a bitch. I ain't letting away with that. And it's like, shaking him. And then it's like, and then Kid coming in with, <laughs> I didn't know you were his lackey. So, uh, I love it. Love it. Supernovas versus the Yonko. Love it. But, um, yeah. Anyway, let me wrap this up. Uh, with uh, Let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood. Please let me know down below. Check out my other content. See what you like. Suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming, and I'll tweet it out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, quichelings. I don't know what to add. Awesome fight.